and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. So good to be back. My name is Nadia Ian Sands, and this of course is learn how to edit stuff. And you guessed it, we're gonna edit stuff and learn and also learn how to edit stuff. We're gonna, we're gonna do all of it. I mean, the name just makes sense a lot of the time. Now, let me ask you a question. Have you ever used the essential graphics panel in Adobe Premiere? Did you even know such a thing existed? Well, if you have not, or even if you have, the essential graphics panel in Adobe Premiere is actually pretty useful. So what the essential graphics panel is in Adobe Premiere is an area of Premiere that you can just click on that and then drag in animations right onto your timeline and change some stuff around. So if you wanted to animate a graphic or you wanted to animate some text, all you gotta do is just drag and drop and plug in a couple quick things and you're off to the races with some pretty nice animated titles. But are the stock essential graphics templates good? Never fear, learn how to edit stuff is here. Did you know that you can make your own animations inside of After Effects and then save it out as an essential graphics preset? Did ya? Well, now you do, boom. So today we're gonna take a look at making our own custom animations inside of After Effects, saving it out as an essential graphics template so that you guys can use it in Premiere later and not necessarily have to keep doing the same animations in After Effects or even really go into After Effects to do any custom animations inside of Premiere. And on top of that, in the link in the video description below is a couple free ones that I made for you guys. We're learning how to do it ourselves and I'm giving you some freebies. It's just a win, win, it's only two wins. It's only, it's a win-win. So download the free ones below and open up Adobe After Effects because we're making our own right now. All right, guys, After Effects is open. And first and foremost, I'm going to start a new composition. My sequence settings are 1920 by 1080 at 23,976 and five seconds. You're gonna wanna keep these title animations pretty short. The longer you have your duration, the more complicated it's gonna be. So definitely keep the time short. Five seconds is plenty of time, trust me. So we're gonna click OK, and it's gonna open up our blank composition. Now, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to name this composition whatever you plan on making. So for this, we're gonna call this simple lower third and hit enter, and now we are getting started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add some text down onto my timeline, and I'm just gonna write main title goes here. Perfect. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna center it where I want it to go. Now, the thing you're gonna to have to remember when you're doing any sort of title animation is what do you want the text to actually do? So in my head, I kind of just want this title to come from off screen and just kind of settle right down here. So I have to do some preliminary things with the text to make sure that this will work later. Mainly by clicking on your text layer and coming up here to paragraph, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your text is left aligned because if it's center aligned or right aligned, when you change the text later, it actually won't work in the animation. So make sure that your text is left aligned if you are following along. And then last but not least, we're gonna center our anchor point in the middle of this text by hitting Control, Alt, and Home on your keyboard. Or if you don't have a full-size keyboard, you can also come up here to Layer, Transform, and Center Anchor Point in Layer Content, and it will center your anchor point in the middle of your text layer so that when we decide to do any sort of scale or rotation properties, it's gonna scale or rotate from the center of your text, which is important. But now that we have our main title, I'm gonna click Control D with that layer selected to duplicate. And I'm gonna take my bottom layer here and I'm just gonna click and drag underneath itself and I'm gonna change this text to secondary title here. And now I'm gonna recenter my anchor point again because it's a different length of words. And now I'm going to scale this down and we'll zoom in here and I'm going to just put this right underneath this. There you go. So this is a very, very basic lower third animation that we're gonna be creating here, but it is cool because you can make your own templates and you can get more and more extreme, but we'll get into that in just a minute. For the sake of time and simplicity, I'm gonna set a position keyframe right here, and I'm gonna hit shift, control, and the right arrow to go over 10 keyframes. And I'm going to set another position keyframe at the very end. And now I'm just gonna take my text on the first keyframe and I'm just gonna pull it back, just like that. So now we have a very simple animation here. I'm gonna highlight my keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant and easy ease, just to make that animation a little bit smoother. There you go. And since it's simple to do motion blur in After Effects, what I'm gonna do is turn on the motion blur for both of these layers and make sure that my motion blur in my composition is on. So now we're getting some nice motion blur into our title. Now, since I'm gonna to wanna to change the text color later, I'm gonna come up here to effects and presets. I'm gonna type in fill. And I'm just going to drop a fill onto each of these layers. And for the sake of my own mental sanity, I'm gonna change these back to white, but I know that I can change the color again later. So there we go. Now that we've made a very, very basic lower third and we've made sure that we labeled our composition, now what we're gonna do is come up here to Window and go to Essential Graphics. And that will bring up the Essential Graphics panel inside of After Effects. Now, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is select which composition we're working with today. So we're going to select simple lower third, and I'm immediately going to name this. Learn how to edit stuff simple lower third. 
Now, if you guys are making a lot of your own essential graphics, having a little qualifier like this at the beginning is going to be important because in Adobe Premiere, it alphabetizes everything. So for me, having learned how to edit stuff at the beginning, I know that I can just scroll down to L and all the ones that I've made are going to be there. Where if you're just doing something kind of random, you're gonna have to search for it. There are keywords, but this just makes it a lot easier. So maybe your name or some other type of thing at the beginning so you can find them easier. So now that we've named it and we've pointed it in the right direction of our composition, the next thing we're gonna do is click Solo Supported Properties. And what that's gonna do is down here, show everything that we can then animate inside of Premiere from After Effects. And so since this is a very simple explanation, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on my main title and come down to Source Text and just drag and drop that right up here into the Essential Graphics folder. And I'm gonna rename this Main Text. Same thing down here under the color from our fill layer. I'm just gonna drag and drop this right under here. And I'm gonna call this main text color. And now for our secondary title, I'm gonna drop in the source text in that secondary title. And again, for the color, drop that under here, secondary color. Now it is important to keep all of this stuff organized because in Premiere, you're gonna want it to look very, very simple for yourself. And also if you're sharing it with other people, having a bunch of like misnamed layers and all this stuff is just gonna get really messy. So make sure that if you guys are making your own essential graphics, you are keeping it very tight. Just, just tight, you know? Right underneath solo supported properties, there is a little box called set poster time. Now what that's gonna do is if you click on that, it's gonna set the poster frame inside of Adobe Premiere. So this is what you're seeing as the preview layer for what you're making. Make sure that it is not halfway through an animation because if you set your poster time there, it's just gonna be a blurry mess. So basically what you're gonna wanna do is set it at the very end so it's easy to see in Adobe Premiere so you're not getting confused. Since I only wanna change my main text and my color, the only other thing that we can really do is come over here to edit properties and down here we can enable custom font selection and we can also enable font size adjustment, which is important. So we're gonna turn that on for both. And as you can see, it adds some new additional properties to our essential graphics, including font and font size. Now, if you wanted to come down here, you can also add a comment into this and that will show up in Adobe Premiere. So like change text. And so I can just take this and drag and drop it right above main text. And you guys can reorder these however you like in the essential graphics folder. And this is the way that it will show up in Premiere. So I recommend having like your main text and main text color right next to each other and not having them be split because that'll be confusing later. But now that we have made our essential graphics preset, all we have to do is come down here and hit export motion graphics template. It will ask you to save your project because you need to save it before you export it. Click save. And now it will give us some options here. So with the new update to Adobe CC, this compatibility thing is kind of cool. Warn me if this motion graphics template uses fonts that are not available from Adobe fonts and warn me if After Effects needs to be installed in order to customize these motion graphics templates. I would just leave both of these checked all the time because it's just a good notification to have just in case. If you uncheck them and somebody tries to use something, maybe you're using a font that they don't have, it won't warn them. So you're definitely gonna wanna warn them if that's the case. I know that I'm gonna save it to a local drive and we're gonna hit browse right here and I'm going to navigate to the folder in which I want to save all of my graphics to. And I'm gonna name this, learn how to edit stuff, simple lower third, and I'm gonna click save. And then down here, this is very important for searching in Adobe Premiere. I'm gonna type in, learn how to edit stuff, and then comma space, simple, comma lower third. Now, if I just click off of that, it will put keywords that I can search inside of Adobe Premiere. I spelled simple wrong, that's okay. We can just come over here and add it again and it will put the keyboard down here and now we click OK and it will export that motion graphics template to that folder. And that's all we need to do in After Effects for now. Now I'm going to open up Adobe Premiere and down here on my timeline, it's just a blank timeline with nothing going on and I'm in the editing window layout. Now you guys can come over here and just click on graphics. And that will open up the essential graphics panel. Now down here will be all of these stock Adobe Premiere ones that Premiere comes with, but we're doing custom ones, ladies and gentlemen. So if you wanna point it to a local folder on your computer, say you have a folder in your documents folder or somewhere on a hard drive where you're just creating a bunch of essential graphics, you're gonna to wanna to point Premiere in that direction. So anytime you add an essential graphics template to that folder, it will automatically update in Premiere so that you don't have to keep searching for them every time. This is kind of important. So. I'm going to right click on the essential graphics tab and I'm gonna come down to manage additional folders. And this will bring up a dialogue allowing us to add folders from our computer into Premiere so that they reference for the essential graphics template. So I'm gonna to go to add and now I'm going to navigate to that folder that we just dropped that preset into. There you go. Select folder and now I'm gonna click okay. And now ladies and gentlemen, if I just come up here and I search learn how to edit stuff and hit enter, 
There you go. Here's our simple lower third that we just made. So you're going to take this and just drag it straight onto your timeline. It will load the motion graphics template and voila, ladies and gentlemen, it is now inside of Premiere and ready for us to edit. So all we have to do is click on that essential graphics template and come over to the edit tab under essential graphics. And now we can change our title. Nadia and Sands for the main title. And for the secondary title, we'll do YouTube guy. And you see how our text is now a left aligned. So no matter how long I make this top main title, it will always stay left aligned. Now, if you don't do the animation over long enough, you're kind of going to see it before it animates. And that's where the text size is going to come into play. So now I can just kind of shrink this text size down if I have a super long title. And now the animation actually makes sense. But since we're just going to type in Naughty and Sans, that will work just perfectly. And now my secondary color, I'm going to make maybe a blue and I can change the colors interchangeably. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very simple animated title in Adobe Premiere that we made ourselves in After Effects. And guys, the possibilities are kind of endless. You can animate a lot of different things inside the Essential Graphics panel, and you can get as complex or as simple as you want. But if you're gonna sit down and you're gonna take time to make a bunch of Essential Graphics, just make sure that you're doing them right, make sure that you're making them clean, and make sure that they're easy to follow, especially if you're gonna give those templates to other people, like I'm gonna give to you today. Day. Again, link in the video description below to download your own. Some things to remember, if you guys are making a lower third that animates from left to right, make sure your text is left aligned. If you're going to make a center title animation, make sure that your text is aligned to the center and make sure that you're centering your anchor points with your text layer so that nothing gets wonky later on. Make sure you're naming your composition and make sure you're naming your essential graphics templates because if you're doing them all in the same project, it will get kind of confusing if you don't keep it tight. You know what I'm saying? Just tight, tighten it up, keep it tight. And last but not least, have a folder on your computer that Premiere is looking to for all the essential graphics that you're making. If you point Premiere to that folder, all you have to do is save them to that folder and Premiere will automatically update and you won't have to worry about importing individual motion graphics templates every time because that's just that. Why, why would you do that? Well, that about does it today for me, guys. I hope that you learned something valuable today about the essential graphics panel and how you, yes, you can make your own in Adobe After Effects and then save them into Premiere. Pretty cool. Definitely go play around with it. Also, so again, download the freebies in the video description below of ones that I made for you guys. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also check out the last video that you missed. I try to do them weekly. I learn how to edit stuff, but you know, life gets in the way. People get busy. I try to do it as much as possible, right? This is free content for you guys. Make sure you subscribe and check out the last video and I will see you next time.